Matt from Matt's Red Show here. Um, just thought I would uh, come on here real quick and let you know this is a compilation video of cars at the Blacksmith Lounge. The, they do a bunch of car shows on this, at this location during the summer months. Um, it's one of my favorite spots to come to uh, classic car shows. Um, they really just have some of the best cars that you'll see all you know car show season long. They do at least maybe two, possibly three or more over the summer. And uh, it's just been a great spot for classic cars over the years and uh, so I just thought I'd just throw a compilation video together since car show season is just around the corner of some of the you know the awesome cars that, that I see at these shows so I uh, hope you enjoy this gonna see some hot rods gonna see some classics gonna see some muscle cars gonna see some roadsters some classic trucks some street rods some custom vehicles uh, all sorts of great stuff in this video so uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, that's it let's get to it Monte Carlo there.
67. Here's a 1942 Lincoln Continental. It's got a Mustang 302 in it. Man, I love the interiors when they when they do them like this. I think this car's been restored, but like it still looks all original. That is so nice. Yeah. Check this bad boy out. Look at that. I just love Studebaker. You can always like tell a Studebaker, man. They're just, they're in a class all of their own. Take a look inside this girl here. Oh, nice. Look at that, that's great. That is great. Look at that. I think it's clean. This is a 1937. This is a uh, 37. Just gorgeous. I think it's incredible. Diamond shape. Oh, it is. Kind of hurts you. This game. You know what I gotta do with these 59s, right? Who knows what my next shot's gonna be? Boom! Just love the back. The way they designed the fins on these 59s. Then the Chevy models, anyway. <laughs> Here's another GTO. 67 original engine a lot of nice GTOs here today here's one I don't think I've filmed before 1960 Chrysler Saratoga Toga Look at the tail lights on this. It's incredible. Two Oldsmobile Starfire. Look at this car. Look at this. This is incredible. Holy cow. Better safe than sorry. Got the lines on the side and the chrome on the door there. <laughs> 61, they only manufactured the convertibles. Okay. And they manufactured about 7,600. Basically, Oldsmobile's answer to four passenger Thunderbird. Okay. It's got 
the sportiness with the bucket seats, the console. <laughs> Such a cool car. I was talking to the owner. He said there's like 46,000 of these types of cars on the road, Starfires, but um, not as many convertibles. 7,000, I think he said, somewhere around there. And then uh, only about 100 something of them left on the road. So, so this is a restored vehicle, but restored to original. And I think he said this is a 394 in a, a high compression, 394 high compression engine. Oh, here we go. One motorcycle fiddling by. 394 high compression engine, which was, he said, uh, unique to these vehicles. Really cool. Always fun to see a car you haven't seen before. I like the uh, way they did the front here. They've got like a, look at that. That's cool. You don't see that too. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm talking about like the two levels of the front end there. What a cool car. Ford Roadster. These Roadsters look like they'd be fun cars to own. Here's a 1955 Studebaker Commander Regal. Love these things. Nice moon caps here. Little vent there inside. It's the uh, air brakes. <laughs> Just kidding. The GTO, the Judge. 669. Some stuff on the sticker here. <laughs> I love when owners still have this information from when they bought it. I don't know if this is a one owner car or not. Could be. Yeah, 10 years old, 20, 10 year old pins. And then um, Robbie starts. Nineteen fifty nine Ford Fairlane Galaxy five hundred. <laughs> Cars are massive. A few more Fords tucked back here. Here's a fifty seven Fairlane. Sunliner.
stuff in cars all the way over the edge over here. Unless he's trying to get out. Catalina here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're fine. The 55 Ford Custom Line. They're cool. This is a 69 Dodge Super B. Oh no! <laughs> It's a uh, 58 Edsel Ranger. Of course, these cars have an interesting history because they didn't they didn't do good, but it's still fun to see them. I'm always excited to see an Edsel for some reason. Look at the push buttons on the steering wheel there. That's incredible. Do it! <laughs> yeah, this one's got some patina on it, but that's fine. Just makes it more original that way, right? <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> Here's a 1957 Studebaker Hawk. You can tell because of the license plate. <laughs> but also because of the way it is. Look at the little holes in the front grill there air to get in and such <laughs> it's pretty cool Studebaker Golden Hawk check out the fins in this girl Oh man, those are something else. Oh, 
Looky this here. A 1925 Ford. <laughs> that is pretty darn unique. Cool. The wood in the bed. How tall the cab was. It's up there. Look at that. that is, this is cool. <laughs> Look at that. Sitting next to the Chevelle over there. That 63 Ford again here. <laughs> I keep filming. He told me to come and look at it again to see if I can guess what he changed, what they added or anything. Have to have to check my video. My brain doesn't work very good, so I have no idea what the new stuff is he added. <laughs> Alright, speaking to the owner here, he told me what was new on it here. He had me going here. So this had a, a Shelby Cobra on the steering wheel, and now it's now it's Ford. Just the Ford logo on there, and then the 460 High Performance logo here to better let people kind of know what he's got in here. So pretty awesome truck. I love this thing. So nice. I get the there's another Ford logo that right down there in the bottom there. That he's got in there. <laughs> he's talking about changing out the wood, maybe putting some black wood in the back here. That'd be kind of unique and cool. But yeah, fun truck. <laughs> anyway, it's fun. You, you get to meet people at the shows and you start talking about their cars and then you see him again. And he's like, hey, I did some new stuff to the car, the truck, you gotta go check it out. <laughs> so, makes it fun. Okay, what else we got? Ford Fairlane here. GMC trucks taking off here. <laughs> Got a fifty two. Buick 8 here, all original. So nice, look at this thing. Look how, look how long that straight 8 is. That's so cool. That inside is all. Is it all original? It's never been done to it. Wow, 100% original. Yeah. It's all original. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Everything you see. Wow. Is just the way it was. Just the way it was. Yep. That's the time machine. This is incredible. Without the seatbelts. Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what were seatbelts they would say back then? <laughs> wow. This is incredible. It's it is it smells like a museum too, you know that kind of museum smell, kind of an antique. <laughs> All original. This is incredible. and it's, look how good in shape it is. Wow. This is why I love coming to shows like this because every once in a while you see one like this, it's all original and it's like 100% stepping back in time. Incredible. We are now in the year 1952. Something else. So cool and look at this, looks like 
came from Chicago by Frank Lynch in Chicago. That's who sold it, I guess. Are you making a movie? Stuff here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what the truck looks like. That's, that's, yeah. That is just like the original truck. Yeah. It's a lot of space. <laughs> all original. Well, it's just that all this stuff. You know, all that stuff is so nice. And it yeah. Like it's been on a gravel road. It's, 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 yeah, it's, just, it's very. It's a time machine. <laughs> huh? It's a time machine. It's the I owner there. A, I have a so cool. That says time machine. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Back to the Corvette here. This is a 1971 Corvette with a 454 in it. 454 crammed in there. Yeah. I just love the back of uh, the C3s. There's a velvet here. Look at what we have here. Smiling for us. <laughs> 1960 Imperial. Incredible. Royalty car here. There we go. Look at this thing. Look at the color palette here. Getting, looks like being in a candy store. Really nice 57 here, and then it looks like a 56 delivery. Nice. Fun to see the, the window up like that. Thirty six Chrysler Coupe. Seven Buick Caballero. Some info on the car here. Man, this thing is. This thing is really in good shape. It's like brand new. Look at this. Look at the view in this thing. This is incredible. The estate wagon. where the fuel goes right here. Fuel. No. Oh my god. 
It's cool. Here's a 1929 Chevy Coupe. Oh wow, very cool. Yeah. Don't see as many Chevy coupes, mostly the Fords. It's turned out beautiful, man. Yeah, I'll record that. It's gonna show me the flames light up here when he hits the brake light. <laughs> cool. Can you guys see it? It's blue, it's a blue light. Very cool. That is cool. <laughs> cool car. Good looking 56 Chevy here. <laughs> Look at that. The 53 Ford reflecting in the 56 Chevy moon cap. <laughs> Might as well get started with the 68 Roadrunner. Six Chevy Coupe, Master Deluxe. <laughs> Man, such a perfect day for this. This is, this is incredible. Here we got the A-track in there. It's a 63 Chevy Nova. It's a 53 Oldsmobile 98 Holiday.
beautiful 64. And this thing is nice. Sixty-seven Barracuda, three forty. Beautiful car. Man, this is so nice. Four-speed. Love this car. I love the license plate. Quick fish. <laughs> So uh, you tell me, with this Roadster here, is this a Ford Roadster or is it <laughs> the answer of course to my last question was yes. <laughs> for vet car show that I was at. You don't see as many of the 33s. Because as the owner told me about these, they, uh, they were used a lot in uh, circle track racing, so a lot of them didn't, you know, make it after that. So it's cool to see a 33 Chevy like this. see a little bit more of the colors and the flames today the Sun look at that that's nice very cool car all right here's a 77 Pontiac Trans Am here old Bert in the window over there <laughs> <laughs> the legend. Sixty-nine olds, four four two. There's a uh, sixty-five Mustang GT. Got a two eighty-nine. Oh, you're fine. I got it. You have good taste. Yeah. Whatever your flavor is, 
open it up and like okay. a set of skis or something like that. Okay. Look at that back seat. Folds down. <laughs> Got a my goodness, this is an amazing 65. Things here. America. There's a there's a beautiful 57 with a 350 in it with four speed two door. Good grief. Here's a 1960 Pontiac convertible. Look at that. I've mentioned it in other videos before, but I love the taillights in these old Bonnevilles. It kind of flows into the side lines. It's kind of crazy. It's beautiful. Be such a fun car to have. Look at that. These Bonnevilles always amaze me. Beauty. Beauty. T-Bird convertible. Here's a beautiful uh, 59 Biscayne. Look at this thing. Good grief. Thirty one Hudson Essex. This car is so nice. I've seen it before. Oh, it's amazing.
<laughs> That's awesome. Never seen flames coming off of the rear view mirror with a little <laughs> like a bike horn on it. <laughs> I love it. Chrysler 300D. Filmed this a couple times. <laughs> yeah, it's such a nice car though. I just love this car. So crazy. It's still, every time I see one of these record players and these things, I'm impressed. It's a 65 Mustang Fastback. 289. Oh man, this is, this is really nice. Man, look at that. Oh, this car. Love that. Uh, it's a car. Find one that is a Marlin. Plymouth Special Deluxe. Firebird. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this thing. They really do resemble a bird in the front. I don't know. Like a beak. It's awesome.
Look at this little beaver shooting his arrows. His arrows kind of follow the car up here and then hit up in the front. And of course, set the whole thing on fire. <laughs> it's a uh, 1940 Ford, by the way. Beautiful. There's a 67 Mercury Cougar. I love seeing old original dealership logos on these things sometimes. Here's a gorgeous 68 Dodge Cornette. It's incredible. Here's another 68 Pontiac Firebird. <laughs> it's kind of cool. He's got the speaker system from the old like drive-in movie theater, I think, on the side of his car there. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. That's how they did it at the old drive-ins. You used to just pick up the speaker right off the post and drop it in your car window there. A 57 DeSoto. The record player in it and everything. Always fun to see the record player in these things. They work fairly good too. Chrysler made their own line of records for these record players too. There's a 1940 Pontiac. Don't wash them, you don't take care of them, you don't need to wax them all right. It's pretty cool. Yeah, <clears throat> that is nice. Really nice 56 Ford. Always have to film these things because they're one of my one of my favorite Ford trucks. Playing back here and hopefully what is uh, not poison ivy <laughs> to get this shot. What is it? Leaves of three, let them be. Leaves of four, eat some more. Or is it leaves of three? Yummy. <laughs> I don't know. Look at this. Good cream. Nice. Look at that. 59 Buick convertible. I'm just going to get it all.
You're looking sea cab hot rod here, man. This is awesome. Man. <laughs> I think 1930 Ford Model A hot rod. So nice. Here's a uh, 64 Pontiac GTO. It's not a car show without a GTO. <laughs> nice. Four speed. Beauty. This would be a lot of fun. There's a 51 Studebaker Starlight Coupe Champ. There's a bullet nose on there. I heard these cars got like 50 miles per gallon back in the day, which is insane to think about. A car in the 1950s getting 50 miles per gallon. I can't confirm if that's true or not, but maybe somebody knows. Of course, you got the, I think this is a 50 or a 51 champion Studebaker here. You got the big old Vista window. So you can see inside the car 360 degrees around. Watch where you're going. Look at this thing. It's got the bullet nose in front we'll look at here in a sec. Look at this, my gosh. This is all brand new inside here. Nice post-war car. Building the cars to look like the future. The future was airplanes. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Love these things. Nineteen fifty Studebaker Starlight Coupe Champion. Studebaker Champion. Here's a fifty-seven Ford Fairlane. Convertible, the back open and everything. <laughs> How you doing? Of course, it's always fun to see these in action. Watching the hard top just fold up into here. And the back end just closes right back down on top of it. 1957. Be a lot of fun to own one of these things. Here's a beautiful '56 Bel Air convertible. Here's a uh, 66 Dodge Charger. Awesome car. Oh, 
always amazes me the amount of room these old chargers had in them. Look at all this room they had back here. The seats fold up and down in the back here. There's a lot of room in these old chargers. Here's a uh, 53 Ford F100 with an Old West theme built throughout it. It's pretty cool. cool. It's a pretty cool build. <laughs> it's kind of unique. I <laughs> don't see this very often. Kind of a fun. Draw. <laughs> A lot of fun details in this car. Start picking out the different Western themed pieces. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we try to get around here, to most of them anyway. Here's a 65. And the body of course. Got the four speed in there. Ooh, nice. This is a nice. Take a look at this 55 Plymouth Belvedere here. Here's a uh, 49 Buick Super. Pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Super. Nice fifty five. Good, how are you? Here's another nice C two Corvette. Is a uh, 65 Corvette. Gorgeous. There's a 29 Ford Roadster. This, love it. It's got a 53 Mercury flathead. A 1953, that is. 
man, it would want that. to throw me this way or something. Oh, that's that cool. On it. And then I, I put that. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> These two Chevys drop down here. I love it. Got a 59 here. What are the wagons called? Brookwood. Awesome. This old DeSoto here. Sixth is Soto, Fire Dome Seville. Look at that thing sitting there. That's awesome. This is a good looking GTX. And this is a uh, 69, by the way. <laughs> All right, there's a 73 Stingray. Beautiful car. I've seen this before at Nickel Dickel days. <laughs> the owner actually stopped me uh, a few a few minutes ago and harassed me about not filming her car. And I had to laugh. I said, I'll come over and film it for you guys. We got this. Why wouldn't I film this car? That's incredible. 73 Corvette. They've also got that uh, 57 Chevy over there too. A couple of beautiful cars. This is really nice. 73 though. My goodness. A nice 55 Ford shining in the sun. Look at this thing. Shoot.
Look at the door, look at the side on this. Look how much they were trying to do with it. I love it. I love this. This color on some classics, I just love it. Oh, look at that. Plymouth Special Deluxe. Beauty. Beauty. Look at that. Look at the way the doors open. Look at the way the doors open on this. The controls there. <laughs> Somebody left this guy five bucks on his camping chair. <laughs> That's a cool, cool car. Let's go take a look at this Woody over here. Cross country, an old Ford. 1950 Ford cross country. Look at that. Yeah. I think I've seen this before. It's beautiful. Look at that. It's an old Mercury wagon. Another, another nice vinyl top here. Look at this here, uh, 1948 Ford Anglia. You don't see these too often. I think this was uh, either the Canadian or the British they were building these uh, Ford was. So. Don't see them in the States too often. There's a 55 Lincoln Capri, two door hardtop. We'll sign there. Look at this. My goodness. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, engineers. 
This is a nice car. <laughs> look at that dash right there. Look at that. I know I already filmed it, but look, I don't know. Yeah. Shiny, shiny. And nice. Here's a uh, 1960 Pontiac Catalina. It's got a LS2 engine swap. Fat cat. <laughs> Yeah.